Hey ladies, it's Shell. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see today, we are working on a beautiful canvas of hair. My client has very dense, kinky textured hair. So we are going to silk press her out and get her bone straight, you know, without damaging it and only using one pass of heat. Well, two passes because we're going to add curls so what I'm doing first is sectioning her hair off when I am working with people that has extremely high density hair and that's more on the kinkier side I always make sure I work in small sections to be organized so one thing I learned in beauty school is that control the hair don't let it control you so I would like to say organized and making sure that I'm not tugging at her hair too aggressively so to avoid that I take smaller sections so as you guys can see I like to start off with gently detangling the, detangling the hair so what I'm detangling her hair with is a Olivia Garner um, I detangle brush so I'll leave that link below um, this brush works really really good for detangling the hair or you can just use a wide tooth comb so I'm just going to go ahead and continuously detangle her hair and then what I like to do after I'm done detangling it is twist it so I can get those roots, you know, um, flatter and then I like to twist it up. Now what I'm going to do is go in with my blow dryer with a comb attachment because I got to get the hair straight. So I like to go in with the blow dryer and the comb attachment first just to get the hair stretched out more. And then I like to go in with like a brush or something like that and then get it straighter. So as you guys can see, I'm continuously working in those sections just to keep myself organized and making sure I'm stretching out the hair and getting it as straight as possible. The blow dryer that I like to use is the Babyless blow dryer. I don't think they make this specific one anymore, but I do have one linked in my Amazon store. So I'll have that down in the description box. And the comb attachment that I'm using is from a Silverbird. They don't, this specific blow dryer doesn't come with a comb attachment. So I have to use the comb attachment from the Silverbird. And the brush that I'm using is a Demon brush. This, this is what I use to stretch the hair out even more and make it straighter. So I'm going to just go in and do that. And because what I'm also doing is making sure that I get her roots really dry. Because when the hair is that thick and dense. A lot of times you'll go throughout the whole entire head blow drying it but the roots will still be a little wet and I don't like to sit people under a dryer because I noticed that some people will sit a client with highly dense hair under the dryer but that doesn't to me it makes the silk press not last as long so as you guys see now I'm going in with a wat with a small tooth comb and I'm doing the chase method and I am taking my believe this is a babyless flat iron I'll have everything linked below and it'll also be in my um, Amazon storefront so now I am going through her hair with a small tooth comb and I'm doing only one pass with the flat iron and because her hair is not used to being straightened I am going in with the flat iron on 430 and doing one pass but I'm not going super fast this video is sped up but I'm not going super fast I'm going kind of slow because like I said her hair is not used to being flat ironed so I have to go a little bit slower just so the heat is being distributed through her strands evenly next you guys are going to notice like her ends look a little rough and they look kind of stiff so we are definitely going to go in and do a trim on her when you don't get trims a lot throughout the year and you get your hair pressed if initially it will be stiff um, but once you get that trim your hair will flow a lot better and it'll last a lot longer keeping dead ends on the hair will make your hair be stiff and it'll make it revert a lot quicker because dead hair all it's going to do is just all those split ends are just going to flare out and they're going to make the hair look rough so now i'm going in with my eap and i'm flat and i'm um curling her hair and because it's always best to get the hair curled if you haven't had your hair flat ironed in a while because it helps the hair to last longer and with her hair being so dense and kinky um I definitely wanted to keep her hair curled so that it'll last a lot longer so as you guys see I'm going in and curling it 
and the hair is going to move a lot nicer and not be stiff and as you guys can see her hair is a lot shinier and it's really really stretched out and it is going to last her it actually did last her two to three weeks um she actually said it lasted her until she washed it again so it definitely lasted her so if you guys are struggling with your silk presses don't forget i have a silk press course that teaches you everything on how to do a silk press i give you products um flat iron tools everything in that course so if you are struggling with your silk presses make sure you check that course out it'll be linked down below and i'm just amazed at how cute her hair is coming out she definitely said she didn't want granny curls so i was making sure that i, I made her curls loose because she didn't want that super tight granny look so i'm making her curls loose so that when i go through and kind of like comb them out with my hands that they lay really really nice she kind of had like that fair faucet look going on. So this is the finished look, y'all. Her hair is so, so, so cute. Her hair is shiny. It's bouncy. It's lightweight. And the more you come in for silk presses throughout the year, the better the hair look. Of course, you don't want to do too many silk presses. But if you come in a few times throughout the year to just get that maintenance done, your hair will last a lot longer. It'll be a lot healthier. And you're going to keep up with your ends, those trims, and it'll just be a lot better. Your curls and your hair will lay a lot better when you go in and continuously get those maintenance visits. So this is it. This is the finished look, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.